Do you also feel that once you mastered one thing on Instagram, another one pops up immediately? A new feature, a new type of content, or a new trend that you should recreate? No wonder if you feel overwhelmed. After all, social media is a full-time job for some of us. For me, reels were a thing that I tried to resist for some time. I wasn't completely convinced that they wouldn't be just another short-term fad, and the amount of work required didn't seem worth the uncertain results. But as the time went, reels were still here, gaining on popularity and bringing great results for all kinds of businesses. So I caved in and jumped on the Reels bandwagon, started experimenting and eventually finding ways how to make the process of creating Reels quicker so I can integrate them into my content calendar on a regular basis. And you know what? The only thing I regret is not doing it sooner. So if you are still new to the Reels game, this video is made for you. Hi there designer, welcome to my channel. If this is your first video with me, my name is Simona and I've been sharing social media and content strategies for interior designers as I have a long time background in marketing and I'm also a certified interior designer. Reels and generally short form video content have been around for a while, but they are still a hot topic in the social media world, especially with the popularity of TikTok and all major social media platforms shifting their focus from pictures and text to video content. Today we will look at what exactly reels are, why you should create them, how to create them, and I will also share some concrete ideas that you can use to promote your interior design business, so do stick until the end. By the way, most of this video applies to TikTok as well, as my specialty is Instagram, and it's also the number one platform that I recommend to interior designers, I will just focus on that. But if you are a big TikTok user, you might still find this video helpful. Alright, let's dive right into it. There are three types of Instagram content that you can create at the moment. Your regular static feed posts, stories and reels. You can also do live videos and collate your posts into guides. But to keep things simple, let's stick to these three basic types for now. If you imagine all kinds of Instagram content as a funnel, reels come at the top of the funnel. They work best to attract new people to your profile, as they are shown to new audiences. And once they get traction, they have a good chance to get viral. So how exactly? are reels different from other types of content. In a nutshell, reels are short form, vertical videos that can be up to 60 seconds long. What makes reels work so well is that they can be seen by anyone on the reels tab, not just people who follow your account. So what does this mean for interior designers? By creating interesting and engaging reels, you can bring new people to your profile, people who might not have otherwise found your account. This is especially valuable if you don't focus just on clients from your location. If you are a virtual designer or have an online shop, Reels can bring you potential clients from all around the world. Having said that, just creating Reels won't be enough to get heaps of new clients. As I said, Reels are at the top of the Instagram content funnel and serve best to attract new people to your profile. But once you've established contact, you need to use your other content, such as static posts and stories, to keep them interested in your brand before they convert to a paying client. You can create all kinds of Reels, but if you focus on evergreen content, your Reels will be relevant for people who will find them long after posting. So I would recommend directing your focus there, instead of creating reels with a very timely content, at least in the beginning, while you are learning the ropes. Later on in this video, I will talk about various examples of reels that you can create. And although all of them are about evergreen content, there is still a lot of variety, as you will see. But first, let's look at how do you actually create reels. Creating reels in your Instagram app might take a while to figure out, but once you get into it, it's actually not that difficult. You can create reels from your Reels tab, your Instagram home screen, or from the Instagram Stories camera. Reels can be recorded as a series of clips in a single stream or shot externally and uploaded, which I will get into a little bit later. After adding all your clips, you can add music, sound effects, stickers or text. You can time the text and the stickers to come up at specific times. And you can also manipulate your existing video clips by speeding them up or slowing them down. There are quite a few options how to edit your videos, but you can also keep it simple. For example, if you are making a video of yourself explaining a design concept, 
concept or answering questions. Now, here's a little personal message. Don't feel pressured to make your reels overly creative with trending transitions and special effects. If you are new to this whole world of video making, it's perfectly fine to keep your reels simple and focus on delivering great quality in the content itself. Later, you can experiment with the form if you enjoy creating short videos, but simple reels packed with value are better than no reels. Now, although Instagram has been pushing Reels quite heavily, their app isn't perfect and you can experience quite a lot of crashes while you are creating your Reels. I personally prefer to create my Reels in another app and then just add the music on Instagram before posting. So if you ever get frustrated by the app or just want an app where you can create videos and publish on more platforms than just Instagram, here are some of the most popular apps when it comes to creating Reels. InShot is currently one of the most popular apps to create Reels. As it has a plenty of editing options and is fairly easy to use. Besides basic editing options, you can use it to add bars below or on top of your videos and change the aspect ratio of your videos to suit the real format. You can also add transitions, titles and your own captions. There is a free and a paid version of InShot and you might lack some options in the free app. So depending on how advanced you want to get, InShot might or might not be the best choice for you. Which brings me to the second app on the list. Together with InShot, CapCut is possibly the top app to edit short videos for Reels and TikToks. It's actually created by the same company that owns TikTok, so it has plenty of features and functionality that you might want for your short videos, such as the common editing functions, adding text, a wide library of songs, and loads of effects, transitions, and filters. CapCut might be a good alternative alternative to creating Reels in the Instagram app, especially if you would like an app that is 100% free. The only downside might be if you are bothered by who owns the app and where your data might end up. Same as why some people avoid using TikTok, despite its huge popularity. I personally prefer not to use CapCut, but I do get why it's the number one choice for so many people. I have talked about Canva in this video, and it's currently my favorite tool for creating Reels as well. What I like about Canva is that you can create Reels on your desktop and you can also have other people working on your reels with you under one Canva account, whether it's someone from your own team or an external freelancer. With Canva you can create templates for your reels that you can reuse again and again, which can save you a lot of time. The downside is it might not be as straightforward to use as let's say CapCut or InShot and there is a learning curve involved. But if you prefer to create your reels on a laptop or desktop instead of your phone and you want other people to work on them with you, Canva might be the right choice in your case. Now, whichever app you use, once you create your reels, don't stop at just posting them on Instagram. By repurposing your reels, you can extend the reach of your content on other platforms like Pinterest or YouTube without having to create completely new content. In general, most social media platforms prefer video content these days. Facebook has its own reels, YouTube has shorts, Pinterest has idea pins, and TikTok has, well, TikToks. So there are plenty of opportunities to repost your reels and make sure that more people see them than just those who use Instagram. If you just want to repost a reel that you posted on Instagram, technically you can do this and it will save you time. However, your videos will have the watermark of the original platform, in this case Instagram. And more importantly, some platforms like Instagram and TikTok do prefer native content and can recognize whether you post original reels or ones that were created elsewhere. So if you have time, it's best to create authentic content on each platform, but that being said, reposted content is better than none. You might be now wondering if all the extra effort that you are putting into your reels does really pay off. I personally see reels mostly as a tool to get attention from new audiences, rather than a tool for direct conversion. Sure, someone could book your services right after they see your reel, but it's quite rare. It's more likely that you will have to develop a closer relationship with your followers before they decide to take that step. And you do that, among other things, by creating helpful and inspiring content. Having said that, Reels can be monetized by signing up for Instagram's Reels Play Bonus. You would receive bonuses based on how well your Reels perform, the number of Reels you create, and other things. So this is not really linked to getting new clients, but more of an additional income stream for your business. So now that you know what Reels are and how to create them, let's look at some specific ideas that you can use as an interior designer. 
making of a flat lay or a mood board. If you are an interior designer, mood boards are probably a staple in your visual content. With the video nature of reels, it's not only the final result that is interesting, but the process behind it. Making of a mood board or a flat lay is a great way how to create content that doesn't just show your design skills, but makes for a pretty engaging watching material. Since you can create seasonal or topical mood boards, you can use this idea even if you have a small portfolio and not many projects under your belt yet. And if you feel extra creative, you can have fun creating stop motion videos or a time lapse where you are putting your flat lay together working on a design concept. If you like freehand sketching, you can create a video of you sketching some design ideas and then add a voiceover where you can explain more about the project and what was your inspiration behind your design concept. You can do the same showing how you work in your favorite design software, if sketching isn't your thing. A tour of your home. Interior design is an industry based on human connection and many of your potential clients will want to feel connected with your brand in a deeper way before they book your services. Taking them on a tour of your home will help make your business more relatable and will show your followers a bit more of your personality. Plus, if you are a fairly new designer, your own home can act as part of your portfolio as it does show your tastes and your home styling skills. A 10 second studio tour and what you have on your desk. With this one you give a quick preview of your studio and what you have on your desk. Showing your team at work and maybe showing your favorite places in your office will again make your business more relatable and personal. If you work from home you can still take people on a tour of your home office and talk about how you work from home, what do you like about it and how you deal with some of the challenges of remote working. Before and after transformations are very popular as they play into the human curiosity when we just want to see something bland turn into something beautiful and unique. Because of that, before and after reels tend to get a lot of views and luckily you don't have to be a very skilled video creator to make them. Although if you do feel creative, you can make your before and after reels more appealing, literally with a snap of your finger, if you use the popular finger snap transition or other transitions that are currently on trend. Three ways how to style a shelf, mantle or a console. This is a great and an easy way how to show off your design skills. And your reel can be as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. You can create a standard video, a time lapse or a stop motion where you show three ways how to style a shelf, a mantle or a console table. People like to save how to videos. And since Instagram prefers content that is saved and not just liked, this kind of content is perfect for boosting your engagement and will help you rank higher on Instagram. Answer the most frequent questions. You probably get certain questions again and again. So why not create a simple reel where you just sit down and answer these questions. For this kind of reel I suggest that you add captions so that people who cannot listen to the audio can still watch them and don't miss out on the value that you are sharing. You can also talk about the most common design mistakes that people should avoid or explain the pros of hiring a designer instead of DIY. Really, anything that you get asked a lot will work as you are giving your target audience what they want. Reels are currently one of the best formats to attract new people to your profile. They might be even the top one on Instagram at the moment. And no wonder, they offer a variety of options to create awareness for your brand with video content that is refreshing and valuable to your ideal clients. Whether you create videos that show your face or do interior transformations, the biggest benefit of Reels is that they keep driving new people to your profile long after you post them, as opposed to let's say stories, which expire after 24 hours. Let me know in the comments how do you feel about creating reels. And if you like this video, do subscribe to this channel. It's a great way how to support me so I can create more videos to help you grow your business. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.